guys, it's Cloudy. How are you all? Today I wanted to talk about a new series that came out um, just today actually. It's called Gekken Shoujo Nozaki Kun. And originally I wasn't planning on reviewing this. Um, I actually didn't feature it at all in my summer impressions video or my blog post. But some people were tweeting about it and I checked out the manga and it was so good. It was so cute and funny and there's a lot of like dark stuff out this season. A lot of intense action, um, gaming, supernatural fantasy. There's also some slice of life stuff, but I think the moderately high anticipated shows are a bit more on like the action intense level. So when I got to see Gekken Shoujo Nozaki Kun, it was really relaxing. Um, and I was really like stressed out because I've been like video editing like crazy because of the tag and like all the summer impression stuff I've been doing. So this one really, really relaxed me and I loved it. Gekken Shoujo Nozaki Kun is about a girl named Sakura Chiyo. And right off the bat, um, in the first episode, she goes up to this guy named Nozaki who she's had a crush on for a really long time and she tells him I am a really big fan of you and that obviously can be misinterpreted in quite a few ways and then because Nozaki is actually a mangeka he's like a shoujo manga artist he interprets it as she knows his true identity as a manga artist so they're actually high school students but he has like a full-time other job no one else really believes that he's a manga artist because his personality is really like quiet he's really blunt he has like no tact and that makes for a lot of like the fun comedy stuff so anyways he misunderstands sakura and in the end sakura does find out that her favorite mangeka is actually nozaki he writes with like a different alias obviously but it's really hilarious because they poke fun at a lot of like the shoujo manga tropes, um, the funny moments, how main heroes and heroines are supposed to act and interact with each other. And for someone like me who reads a lot of shoujo manga, and sometimes I do get tired of like the high school cliched scenes, it was just really enjoyable. Initially I thought it was going to be more like a regular shoujo manga, so I was a bit surprised when it turned out to be set up as like four panels in the manga. The anime does a great job of like stringing the different panels together and getting those transitions really smoothly and neatly to connect all the difference. The comedy scenes are absolutely fantastic in this anime. When the comedy scenes come up, um, the background changes to accommodate whatever like emotions the heroine is going through. All of the time, Sakura is just really exasperated with Nozaki. There is this really funny part in the first episode when Nozaki was trying to figure out how he wanted to draw the bike riding scene. Because you know in shoujo manga, there's a scene where um, it's like a full pan shot, really long panoramic angle. The bike is just kind of moving across. The guy's pedaling and the girl is sitting behind him and she's just kind of like holding on to him and there's like a really sweet moment because the girl's really like nervous so they're talking about that and they just go through all these weird little things like Nozaki is like no the girl really shouldn't sit on the back like that that's against the laws for traffic and then um Sakura just gets really exasperated with them because he's like not a romantic at all even though um, all the interviews in the magazines they're like his style really depicts like honest girls hearts they're innocent they're really pure love it's really funny to see how his personality differs from all the cheesy shoujo stuff that he writes. I really highly recommend that you guys check out Gekken Shoujo Nozaki Kun. You don't necessarily need to know about shoujo or read a lot of shoujo manga to get into Gekken Shoujo Nozaki Kun. Just because I think the art is appropriate for all types of viewers and all types of fans. This anime's art is really simple. Um, it's not like too complex just because it's done in like a four panel style. The animation is really clear, really crisp, really bright. And I think for the summer, this is one of the ones you want to watch for summer just because it makes you really like happy and it loves to unwind de-stress even though the show has its share of like funny comedic hilarious moments um it's not with that heart because sakura does have a crush on nozaki she keeps trying to like muster up the courage to actually confess to him and you know properly convey her feelings that she actually likes him like as a person and not just as like a fan um and because nozaki is so clueless it's gonna take a little while for them to get together definitely i'm really rooting for sakura she's one of those characters you can kind of relate to because you know sometimes you like someone and they're totally oblivious to it you go up to them you stutter and you turn out to be like this babbling idiot sakura becomes a very relatable character to a lot of girls uh, maybe even guys it has a really great start and i'm really looking forward to how sakura and nozaki are going to kind of fall into a relationship I don't really know if 
they do. I only read the few chapters at the beginning of the manga, but it feels like there's a little bit something there. I mean, Sakura already has a crush on him, so we'll see. But anyways, I hope you guys really check out Gekken Shoujo Nozaki-kun. Um, I haven't seen a lot of first impressions for these out yet, but I really hope you guys enjoy the story if you do check it out. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this, don't forget to hit like or subscribe. I will leave a link to my blog below. I have a lot of first impression posts from the summer season. So thank you, thank you very much for watching, for sharing, for tweeting me, everything. You guys are awesome. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye!